Make a tool bow. One of the many things a bride and groom worry about as their wedding approaches is the cost. Couples want the best wedding they can get and usually it is not cheap. They must spend for the food, the cake, their attire, reservation of the church and priest, and lastly decoration. Now, all you soon-to-be-married couples, you do not have to spend a lot of money for beautiful decorations. An inexpensive yet elegant and beautiful piece of decoration is the tool bow. You can use it in the church, at the reception area, and many more places, just be creative. The following steps can teach you how to make a tool bow, g. Ather the materials. If you are going to use this decoration a lot, then you will need a lot of tool. For bows bigger than a foot in diameter, you will need at least four and a half yards of tool. For the smaller bows, you will need at most four yards. It is not an exact science. Make a rough estimate of how much tool you will need, and cut it. You can get some inexpensive tool in most fabric stores and department stores. Think of the uses. Before you start making your own bows, imagine first what you are going to do with them. Will they be table decorations or wall or ceiling decorations? Will you use them as decorations for clothing? By answering these questions, you will have an idea of how many you need and how big they should be. This will help you estimate just how much tool you will need and how long you will need to make them. Start cutting and folding. Lay down the tool fabric on a board like hard cardboard and place it on top of smooth sturdy flat surface. Mark your desired bow width on the board with a pencil. Afterwards adjust the tool for the desired length of the bow then cut it. Keep the fabric in place by pinning it to the board with pins. While it is pinned down, create accordion pleats of at least five loops on each side. Then secure all layers at their corners with pins. Next, Cut another piece of tool that is roughly 3 feet long and place it under the center of the already folded and secured bow. Tie the new tool tightly into a square knot. Remove the pins on the bow and fluff all the loops put the final touches. Use the procedure above to create more bows as much as you need. Decorate them with flowers, ribbons, etc. You are now done with your bows and all is left is where you will place them. Some reminders. Remember to provide half a yard extra of tool for the tails of your bows. Also remember to decorate your bows with the necessary colors to match your themes. Create more bows than you need because you will never know when you will need the extras. By following the simple steps, 
You have now made your own tool belt. Now all is left is for you to decorate your wedding with the bows. You can even add to your dress and veil.